put him on the bed diagonally. His legs will be hanging off towards the wall. He was very strong, the president. Six foot four, 180 pounds, pretty lean, 56 years old. When they took his shirt off, they were impressed with his physique. You know, he's got huge arms because he was a frontiersman, rail splitter, uh, chased vampires with the best of them. So he will die nine hours after he is shot, does not regain consciousness. So on that note, I think I'm going to have to have you guys take your last pictures. Because we have the greatest country in the world. Like, you got the freedom to do anything you want to do in the United States, anything. I've been in the Army since I was 16 years old. You know, it made me feel like I had a purpose, even though I may have did a lot of things that I regret, but you do it for a reason. That these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from earth. America was born on freedom and loving and caring and looking out for it and helping out your brother man. I thought I was doing the right thing for this country. You come back here, and like, and you look at these people, knowing that what you did with your life for these people here, they don't care at all. They don't care that you put your life on the line to make sure that your country was safe. Every, every time you turn on the news, everything you see is about murder, killing, murder, killing. If we have so many problems going on here, how do we have the time to go help somebody else? Mr. Lincoln says I was free. He <laughs> <laughs> says I was free. <laughs> young man and the whole community we are hurt because we want the state attorney to look at this no peace. No justice, no peace. all I'm saying is the police need to get their trust back in any community all over America Comrades in Ferguson yes. in Staten Island yes. in Cleveland yes. in North Charleston South Carolina yes. in Sanford Florida yes. to say injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Suspension with pay is not enough. This is just the beginning. It is not an event. It is a movement. Everybody cries. The police! The police!
be you could walk off of one job and get another one. Now it'll take you six months to get one. I work at McDonald's. You see people working there with four or five kids and they only can make eight seventy five an hour. It's like how is they supposed to take care of their family? It doesn't. Rich. Put in money else and got greedy. They taking it all and got a way to put it in their hand and hold it. So the have have it and the have not won't get it. As long as they give you enough just to ease by, just to keep you your mouth closed, it's, everything else is all right. I'd rather sit beside a killer than sit beside a person I don't know. Because I know what that killer gonna do to me. I know what the killer got on his mind. I know what the killer got playing. He gonna try to kill me. I'm biracial, so I never really understood the race issues that were out there until I moved to rural northern New York. Some people wanted to be our friends because we were so exotic. Um, they didn't even know what kind of racial slurs to call us. I mean, they were calling us spicks. We relocated to Plainfield, which is, which is a small little farming town. You know, a lot of people said that it was kind of Will County headquarters for the KKK. And, you know, I would have black friends that would come over and, you know, I had one of them, she hid underneath the stairs when my stepdad came home. You know, he told her to come out and he's like, I'm, I'm not one of those people. Well, I can give you my experience when I first moved to Chicago 20 years ago. We live in a predominantly black neighborhood that used to be very rough. And my husband, who is white, walks down the street and people say hi to him and they shake his hand and you know we always make a joke that he's the mayor of our block because everybody knows him whereas 20 years ago I did have a boyfriend who was white the people in the neighborhood used to throw rocks at his car while he was driving away I used to get harassed by the people who lived here because I wasn't black enough they would tell me that I talk white. And I'm like, no, I speak English. Chicago is really a city of neighborhoods, but within the neighborhoods, we're a neighborhood of blocks. Four blocks east is the president of the United States home. Four blocks west, a kid got shot on the corner in the head the first summer we moved in. You know, I mean, heck, last summer, somebody got shot out in our front yard. And, you know, we were there holding his hand as, as he died. 